My name's Jenny. My husband Jack has dementia. We met in 1965 at a dance, fell in love and were married the next year. Jack were a train engineer. Oh, he loved messing about with machines and fixing things. We had two beautiful children together. Well, their parents themselves now. Jack had always been healthy, but a few years ago, well, he stopped joking about as much and he started forgetting things. I put this down to old age, but my friend had been to a dementia information session at library and told me that dementia is not a natural part of ageing. We went to our GP who explained that Jack were physically well, but he needed to see the memory service. A nurse visited us and then Jack had a brain scan. The memory service team diagnosed him with the mixed type of dementia, which is some Alzheimer's and some vascular disease. We learned that dementia is caused by diseases of the brain. There are many different types and it's not just about losing your memory. Doctor talked to us about medication and things people can do to help prevent vascular disease. Then we got a visit from a dementia advisor. She was called Penny. She put us in touch with a local dementia cafe where we met some lovely people in the same situation. Even a 40-year-old man with dementia. I often felt alone and scared, but Penny helped me see that life doesn't end when dementia begins. And Jack and I proved it's possible to live well with dementia. There's much more to Jack than his dementia. He's an individual and different to anyone else with condition. Jack were able to live at home for as long as possible thanks to some wonderful gadgets helping him to stay safe and independent, such as a bed alarm, so I knew when he were up. I even had my own personal budget to buy him. After a couple of years, however, his health deteriorated. He went to hospital a few times with infections and, oh, he experienced delirium, oh, which were frightening. Eventually, I couldn't give Jack the care he needed. So Penny and our GP, well, they helped me find a care home. This broke my heart. But Jack seems happy and staff are all dementia friends. People with specialised dementia awareness. Jack is really poorly now. I don't think he knows who I am. But now and again, I get a flash at man I married and, and then a smile. I've agreed with care home staff that when Jack comes to the end of his life, I want him to be with his family, not in hospital, but somewhere peaceful, so he can slip away in comfort and with dignity. Talking about this in advance, well, it's put my mind at ease, so that until then, well, we can keep dancing and laughing. <laughs> <laughs>